Man, then we had Bronson Reed and Gunther. And uh it's a great match. This match was great. Yep. It's so a great match. The thing I will say that I've noticed about these uh these Raw shows, or uh, this one in particular, like there were several matches where when they started, the crowd was just sitting there. But man, they got going and they had these crowds at the end of the matches. And that's the point. That's that's what you're supposed yeah. to do as a worker. And yeah. man, the the last few minutes of this match, this place was going crazy. And it's a heel versus heel match that nobody thought Bronson Reed could win. And so, like the first three four minutes, they're just watching, and you know they're doing stuff and everything like that. But man, after the first commercial break, they come back and they're they're just pounding on each other. Well, they, just, they hit each other really well. It was it was more Gunther hitting him. Yeah, Gunther hits him. His chest Gunther is was, all disgusting. Gunther, and Gunther was hitting him really hard. And after a while, you know, like. People will, will eventually get into that. But Bronson, I mean, he had a, a power bomb. He hit a, a DVD, which looked really scary, dropped him on his head. He hit this giant superplex off the very top, not the middle right. rope, it was the very top. Right. That was uh, that was the spot that really got the people into the match. And that, then he goes up for the spot. tsunami. He misses the tsunami. Gunther hits a drop kick at Larry. He hits a big splash. Reed kicks out of that. That got a huge pop. And then Gunther power bombs him, pins him 14 minutes. Great television yeah. match here. Yeah, Great. I, I think maybe uh, best match on Raw in a long, long time. Best match on either of their TVs in a long, long time. Then we had a Miz promo backstage, and Nia shows up and cuts a promo about how she does all the squashing around here. And then they do the deal where Miz wants to continue his interview that got er- interrupted, and she goes, sorry, we're all out of time. It was over. Yeah, he complained that... Uh... Sami Zayn got to open the show, and he he was relegated to the third hour, and um, he's you know he's got more he's got a higher Q rating and more name recognition than any of these other people. He's the you know, but they just don't do anything with him. They don't give him any chances. Well, they got a lot of talented people on these brands. Yeah. quite frankly, he is more well known than most of them, though. Yes, he is. He's yeah. they've been using him quite well of late, which is very sparingly in the ring. Yeah. Pierce uh, signed the match, and then Jinder and Indu Share showed up. They wanted to talk. So they're back in the mix, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alpha Academy's training. For, for, like, for like three weeks. Well, Vince is gone, so maybe they'll actually do something with him now. So we'll find out. I, sp- I suppose. But, but they're not that interesting. No. So what? You know what I mean? We'll see what happens. There's always a crown jewel here and there they can do something on. Alpha Academy's training. New Day shows up. They said, you guys probably want some advice about the tag team titles. And Chad said, listen, next week, for the first time ever, Alpha Academy versus The New Day. We had clips of Kofi and his mom opening up their library in Ghana. That was a cool segment. And then Gunther congratulates Kaiser backstage, but he buries Giovanni. And Giovanni says, wait a second, I helped him win that match. And so Gunther then says, next week, it is Giovanni versus Johnny. I want Gargano stretchered out. And if he's not, it's your fault, Kaiser. And the main event was Cody and Jay versus Priest and Finn for the tag team titles. And uh, this also turned into a very good match, although it's a usual deal, lots of interference. And uh, basically, Dom ends up running down, and he's just trying to distract left and right. And then Sammy runs down. He takes out Dom. And then uh, Priest posts Sammy. And uh, we get a bunch of back and forth. And then finally, Jay dives on the priest, gets back in the ring, eats a sling blade, drop kick in the corner. But he gets speared. Uh, Finn gets speared. And uh, then he spears Priest. He goes up top. Jimmy Uso shows up. And he super kicks Jay, allowing Finn to hit the coup de grace and get the pin. So new tag team champions. And I guess... Uh, so Jimmy followed orders that it was a he disgrace. He did follow that- orders. That it was a disgrace that Cody Rhodes and and one of their family are a team and they needed to take care of that. Well, so they he took was, care of it. He was told to take care of it and he did. So we got uh, new tag team champions. So there you go. Thought the show was uh, overall very very good episode of Raw. So lots of good wrestling if you're a big fan of that. All right, let's uh, jump into the mailbag here for a couple of questions before we wrap it up. This person here says. Uh, with Bray Wyatt's sudden unfortunate passing, do you know if there are any plans for Bo Dallas going forward to continue playing the un- Uncle Howdy character, or will yeah. he go back to being Bo Dallas? I, I think he's done. I mean, the only reason he was even being used was as a favorite of Bray Wyatt. So 
I mean, it's possible they'll use him, but I don't. I don't expect. I don't expect him to be back. This person here says, with the new rumor that Warner Brothers might be sold to Universal, what does that say for the future of AEW? There's a million things. By the way, there's a big article. Um, John Orand had a big article today, um, you know, on rights fees and talked about WWE. He didn't talk about AEW. Talked a lot about NASCAR, um, some NBA, you know. I mean, but the the thing is, is that the, um, you know, the it it's not promising for AEW to get the deal that it looked like they would get a year ago because things have changed and um you know it's you know the the didn't look promising for basically nascar is only getting a small increase and nascar is higher priority than wwe obviously much higher than AEW. um you know the basic gist of the story is is that you know the nfl is locked up forever nba is is uh their their deals up at the end of um the the 2024 2025 season and you know, they're going to be able to, you know, everyone's going to want the NBA. Um, and I think the AEW deal in many ways depends upon the um, NBA. Because if, if Warner Brothers, you know, WBD gets to keep the NBA, bids enough to keep the NBA, um, with their revenue declining most likely, um, that would mean that it'd be tough for AEW to get a giant number. If they lose the NBA... At that point, AEW becomes so much more valuable because they don't have the NBA anymore. So um, I think that's something to watch for. Um, I mean, AEW is still, even if AEW got a big increase per viewer, they would still be a bargain compared to WWE. So they do have that going for them, that, that they're underpriced so far as compared to WWE because WWE has been around longer and AEW didn't really have a track record until, um, you know, after this, this first deal, pretty much. Well, this is the second deal, um, much more than the third deal now, but the, um, you know, the, it's, it's the terms of the second deal. Um, and so, you know, they, um, We'll see, but it's not looking, um, I mean, the article didn't, you know, they were basically saying that like, you know, the one where, where, um, and again, they're not in the article, but the one when I was reading it where it was like, it it really looks like it's going to hurt is um, PFL or any other MMA group or any smaller promotion like a pro wrestling group that, that gets on. It's basically saying that like, you know, and, and even like your XFL, USFL type of thing, it's basically like if you're anything but a pretty high tier sport, the days of getting paid all kinds of money, you know, are... are probably limited i mean like women's soccer might be an advantage the women's soccer league might be in um the uh the exception because the sponsor you know you can make a lot of money on sponsorship because it's it's very sponsor friendly but wrestling is not very sponsor friendly and they basically said that like uh i mean the article basically said that like uh these sports shows are going to have to pull their weight in advertising unless there's something that's going to affect carriage fees which um, AEW is not going to most likely. Um, most of these, you know, even UFC is not going to doesn't affect that. So you have to pay for it with with ads, and um, as you know, ad prices, you know, as ads start migrating away from television, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. I mean, the whole TV industry, man, it's going to be, you know, the, the the you know, they haven't figured out how to make money on streaming, and the TV revenue is way down um, and going lower. And it's going to be crunch time coming up. And uh, there's going to be, when you have crunch time, there's going to be some casualties. And, um, you know, who that ca- you know who those casualties are, time will tell. But the bigger you are, the less likely you will be a casualty. But the smaller you are, you're probably going to be a casualty of as far as, like, being able to get, like, big rights fees. Hayes versus Dragunov. Yeah. This is going to be very, very short. Dragunov ha- has his hair hanging over his eyes. That's what you got out of this match? <laughs> I gave that a 12 on the granny scale. Why? His hair was in his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about we get you a, a pen recorder for your birthday? Brian, I got one. Just nobody knows how to hook it up. 
So you don't have one. You have one that needs to be hooked up. It works. It's a pen, though. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll help you hook that up. <laughs> That's the biggest joke I ever heard. <laughs> you are the worst grandmother. Oh my God. <laughs> God. She just cackled at you. Is she drinking that? <laughs> no, she's putting her teeth in or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.